other Civil War symbols under scrutiny, for example, the names of institutions, including the elementary school in Long Beach. A local group thinks it's due for a name change, and Hal Eisner has the story. I am delivering this petition to the Long Beach Unified School District, uh, requesting that the name of the Robert E. Lee Elementary School be dropped ASAP. This is the latest backlash against the Confederacy since the murders of nine people at an AME church in South Carolina. First, the Confederate flag was in the crosshairs, and major companies like Walmart, Amazon.com, and Sears stopped selling them. Now, the South Carolina Senate voted to remove the bars and stars from the State House grounds. Schools and other buildings that honor Confederate leaders like Robert E. Lee are now being targeted. There are reportedly 188 nationwide. At this Robert E. Lee Elementary School, they show their diversity on a sign outside of the building. A school described as 64% Hispanic, with the next biggest group being black. <laughs> These teens all went to Robert E. Lee. They're split, though, on the idea of a name change. You went to Lee Elementary. Yes, sir. Do you think that name should be changed? No. Why? Because I like the name. I just feel like they should just keep Lee Elementary for the Lee Lions, because that's what we grew up as. So. Why should they have a new name? Because he was a fair leader. We, there's Black Lives Matter. We're still here. Pedro Baez agrees with that, because it isn't fair that black and brown children are going to a school for someone who fought to maintain slavery in the South during the, uh, the, the Civil War. Chris Ramirez, who lives by the school, thinks the petition drive is misguided. Want to put a petition together? Put it to build more schools rather than change your name. You know, you can name it, you know, after somebody's grandmother, for all I care, build a new school. A Long Beach Unified School District official tells us that the idea of a name change here hasn't been ruled out, but it's not officially on the table either. It may be, though, when the board meets on July 20th. In Long Beach, I'm Hal Eisner, Fox 11 News. We mentioned